Hey guys, what's going on? Terminator Godzilla here, playing Kerbal Space Program, and I got some mods. OPT Space Plane Parts. From here to here, those are all OPT cockpits. More, these are fuel tanks and stuff. Here, the engines. Game with the scramjet, my, the most used one. These two I use the most. That one I never use considering it's not great in the atmosphere. And I can never get to space with this engine. That one never used mainly just because not really want to. But have some pre-made vehicles. The Aurora from Subnautica. Yeah, I've been playing this a lot in my spare time. <laughs> If I'm hopefully gonna stay on a schedule this time, no breaks, but lately lost the will to record. Okay, that turned off the back engines. And it's a VTOL. More of the Aurora 2.0. The space center. Turn off the VTOL engines because I don't need them. Here with Jebediah Kerman. Yep. <laughs> I paid a lot of attention to detail using the small. The, one of the two most used engines I use. Same up on the bottom, but way less. But surprisingly, hold on, let me get up to the Phoenix speed. Because I live streamed a Kerbal Space Program video. Someone said, I don't remember who, but I went um, up to a certain speed around Mach 3. And then I'm approaching Mach 1 now, where it had the re entry effect and it looked just like a Phoenix. Actually, Wrong button. Uh, I'm gonna be pushing the wrong button a lot, but <laughs> the, whoever developed OPT space plane parts, I don't know who, but I'd recommend you get it because the mod's awesome. Oh, forgot to show you about the intake, ram air intake, to m make it more aerodynamic. But yeah, please fix that. Hold on, let me turn on RCS. I have some RCS buses on here for extra maneuverability when necessary. And... Soon it's turning into a phoenix. But I also have some aircraft to show you. And... This is what I just realized. Don't have infinite fuel on. Nice job, Terminator. Nice daggum job. Also adjust the thermal physics just because I don't like the heating. Here we go. Now take two. <laughs> That's way better. Now most of the things I make use um, in the infinite fuel cheat and need to gr gain lift. FYI, if you're wondering how this thing steers, hold on, let me zoom in. A bunch of wings and some OPT um, stabilizers, B stabilizers, my personal favorite ones. Yeah, pretty maneuverable, unlike what I'd imagine the real Aurora to be like. Don't mind those intakes, we're gonna get rid of them. The one cockpit that fit. Yeah, sadly, that's the cockpit not up there. Because the only cockpits up there would not look right. Decorate those little winglets on the Aurora right there for you. Multiple engines in the back. Thankfully, this version won't be getting shot down by a giant freaking ray gun.
because the, but the reason I have um, winglets back there is to pull the center of lift farther back so that it will fly well. Just hit the chart button. It fl if the center of lift is in front of the center of mass, then the plane flips. And I'm also hoping the mic doesn't mess up this time. Oh, 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 oh. No! Getting a poppy nose, it's most likely my neck. Yep, design myself with joints that can pop more realistic. Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and put in the RCS thrusters. But, you've seen this thing, I, th I think you've seen this thing fly enough. Let's show you, I, I might now show you how to land it. I have another um, Subnautica themed vehicle in here. But I'm not telling you what. I want to see if you can guess it in the comments. Guess in the comments now before you see it. Most likely you won't because I used to not do that. Okay, I'm going to put on the RCS thrusters because this thing's getting wildly unstable. Got the engines. I have the RCS on so I can do this sort of thing and slow down. And I'm stalling. That's necessary. I have to go a little But you require it's a lot of throttle to fly. I don't know if the Subnautica Aurora is actually a VTOL. I don't feel like it is. The Sunbeam, I'll tell you that much it is. I know the Sunbeam's a VTOL. Because in Simonica, right before it gets shot down, it pretty much stops in dead, in midair, and like starts changing direction. Do that so I have some backward thrust. There we go. The Aurora's landed on Kerbin. Now, time to show the other one. In fact, I already said it. Don't mind this. A lot of this stuff, I'll show you those later. Hunter Killer class vehicles. That's a fail. That's not OPT. <coughs> that's a battleship I made out of it type thing. But that's not what I'm trying to find. There it is. I called it the Mark II because I couldn't get it close enough. But most of this is OPT parts except for that and that and the lander legs. I do what I with the best with what I have, the VTOL engines. Yet yeah, these ones I use the same amounts, but dialed down the thrust. So I'm not as energetic as say Jack guy, but hey. It doesn't matter. This one was way harder to make than the Aurora. But these flaps I can activate activate because that's a little trick I learned how to do that by making F-22s. down a bit <clears throat> this vehicle I have a little trick with you that I have a very very hard time to do with the Aurora such hard time that I have not done actually even done it before give it some throttle and nose down but this one has no RCS something I might put on it later If you can guess where I'm headed, what do you think am I gonna do? Gerbil Space Forum is owned by Squat, and I'm not trying to get any copyright strikes. Music I disabled anyway. 
up the engines a little bit. And they're like deploying. Moving far too fast. Uh oh. Nope. I am not crashing in there today. I am not crashing into the vehicle assembly building with this. I've broken this thing way too many times. Got them all together. Okay, add some throttle. But yeah. <laughs> Kinda gives it away. My plans. I forget it, I'll just make another approach. Retract the landing legs. Got off those engines. I actually scratch that, keep them on because I can go faster for some reason. I think it's just it adds extra, like it provides extra lift, which makes my program, which makes like this bit of thrust, which is the most of it, pointing me straight forward. But look, watch what happens. I'm gonna cut off these engines. Look, and then I slow down. But yeah, they have to charge up. This thing is so daggum maneuverable. Did I even put wings in the thing? I don't... Oh yeah, I did. It's sneakishly hidden. Ah, oh, crap. Hold on. I think I have to adjust that. Click. Click the wing. Never mind, they have pitching. Abled. Wrong button again. Why do I do that? Yeah, but this mod lags the game a lot. First person view. Yung. Dang it. Oh well, showed you the sunbeam. I'm not gonna make it multiple attempts to land on the vehicle assembly building. In time I show you some more things that I enjoy. Well, an experimental jet with the uh, rapier engines. These ones, they're a combo between a rocket and a ramjet engine, I think. Based off of the F-22, pretty much. Typical. Did the sunbeam thing. And now, I'm going to show you the real stuff. Here we go, starting with this one. My Hunter Killer Class F-22 Raptor. Well, right now I'm actually gonna go ahead and modify it a bit. Cause that little ledge up there is bugging me. Why is that so difficult to do? Uh, Good enough. Here we go. Let's go. I wish I could use BD Armory. Don't have the mod. I have the mod, but I don't have it installed considering it's useless. I cannot use the weapons. I think I might have said that last week. But it's not a VTOL. Yet, this thing has something that the Aurora and Sunbeam cannot do. Something that. Only one, a few, two, ah! Something that only three vehicles that I've made, counting this one, have been able to do. One really tiny, they can all reach Mach 10 if, you, if you're patient enough. Yet the first time I broke Mach 10 was with the rocket, um, slash plane, you had it called Godspeed. Because it was designed to go Mach 10 and it used... 
four vector engines with 1,000 kilonewtons of thrust each. Which are virtually just the space shuttle's main engines. And... Yeah, they are very powerful. The second time I did it, I made a really, really small vehicle with just one vector engine. And I got to... 10,000 meters a second in the atmosphere. Pass Mach 3. The Phoenix. Yeah. That tall, uh, that high off the ground. Time to pull some G's, hoping that the wings won't shear off. Yeah, they didn't. Sadly, no engine, no stock engine in this game or OBT engine has a vectoring range of. 20 degrees like the F-22's real engines do. But the OPT MK2 cockpit, which is what's typical with this small hunter, cla hunter killer class fighter, with OPT engines. The Phoenix is taking shape again. upgrading it so you can see everything black space here and black space there I'm playing in full screen mode for the first time as well okay I'm moving really fast first person mode you can't see this is a cockpit I don't know why because when I used to have this mod there were a lot of things in it level out so I don't go up too high what's the thrust wrong thing 360 kilonewtons way more than the, what these engines carry up in the space of only 250 Okay, I don't know what mock I'm at right now. Harder and harder to see this thing. I'm not level. But the faster I go, the more aerodynamics will have a f an effect on me. Okay, now I'm approaching, I'm around Mach 9. Just have to increase, actually no Mach 8. Increase that to 4, then I'm at Mach 10. Okay, approaching Mach 10. Hundred meters a second to go. Nose down again. I've hit mark ten. And now cut the engines. Do this to lower my altitude isn't really working. I was trying to cut lift, you know what, forget it. Do this. Hold up. Wow. It's already recaptured. Mach 10 is the escape velocity of Kerbin. Oh crap, lose his stability. 
and there we go. Control was lost there. Thankfully, the aerodynamic straight did this thing out. Slowed down and hoping enough to do this thing, because whenever I go sideways, lack of lift, which should hopefully pull the, cause this thing to get pulled down. Never mind, it's wanting to roll back over. Nope. Oh crud, I'm actually entering orbit. Never mind, I'm good. I'll utilize that. Well, this thing's going into orbit. Well, not really orbit. A suborbital. <clears throat> I hate it when the game does that. The thing is just due to this thing's retardedly light weight. It's either light or really heavy. I'm guessing it's light. But I could just put some jet um, turbo fans on there. It wouldn't, it wouldn't go anywhere near as fast. Most likely wouldn't even work because it has no intakes on this thing. But then it might because I have no oxides. Well, then again, only uh, the atomic engines would work. Yet they're so oh, they are so weak. Virtually, they can't do anything in the atmosphere. Thankfully, they're, pr they're the most efficient rocket engine, and I never even saw that, um, oh, this oceanic, this river formation. Hold on. I'm gonna roll over, roll to my side, and pull up. I actually want to go and investigate that. See what was going on outside. I am pretty surprised. Well, then again, I don't have much thrust. Er, okay, that right there, that looks cool. That engine effect, I mean, well. Actually, never mind, this color is actually pretty accurate. Hope, I'm just also hoping that. The mic hasn't messed up. Then I'd be try this. Sadly, only one engine in this entire game has reverse thrust. Get the Juno basic turbojet engine in this game. In real life, the engine that looks exactly like it also has thrust reversers. And I wish they'd just go ahead and add the F-22's engines. Pull back this way. Okay, that's gonna slow down a lot now. Just what I've been wanting. Yeah, I don't really like how large the wings are. But I'm doing with what I have. Okay, I'll just cut them off now. Glide down. Okay, the shockwave is forming. Okay, slight phoenix effect. Slight pinkish. Okay, now my speed's decreasing. Now fire up the engines again.
zoom out. Okay, off in this direction. Broke Mach 2. Just for realism purposes. How is this thing still increasing speed? Yeah, I never saw this. I don't remember this river formation. It looks cool. Only a hundred twenty kilonewtons. Okay, there's the start of it. It's full power. Here we go. <laughs> well, I don't know how Undertale got into this. Megalovania, owned by Toby Fox. The Phoenix has appeared. Throttle now because I want to lower my speed a little bit. Because I have a history with a lot of my vehicles liking to shear the wings off. This is so cool looking. I never have done this in Girls Race for him that I remember. I'm just 164 meters off the surface of the water. And I'm doing over Mach, almost Mach 2, now over it. This is crazy. Supersonic of only around a hundred, only a hundred meters off the surface. I don't think I've ever done this. I've never gone supersonic on the water, considering it never works. And pull out. I cut straight, I could just cut her across there. But nah. 
Let's get to the more destructive side of things. This is where I. This is where stock parts are useful. <sighs> this one I had problems with. You'll see what that does soon enough. This thing took forever to make, and as you can see, it's very heavy. Because I have four of the um, OPT ARI-75B engines. Four of them. And, and this thing was just so difficult to get off the ground. You have no clue. not very maneuverable and it's falling. Something of this heck this like this most likely is really heavy and I'm telling you it is. Even though there's l virtually no fuel. But these are the OPTB stabilizers, my favorite ones. Vehicle assembly building right in the line of sight. Bombs away! Are you kidding me? I missed. <sighs> Great job, Terminator. Great freaking job. <laughs> Checking the aerodynamic forces. And if this thing will hurry up and get off the ground without scraping. I don't think y'all know entirely what that thing was that came out of the plane. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and upgrade agility, considering this thing is just so massive. Well, it's not actually that massive. This is, I call this my medium bomber. Dang it, they gave it away. It's the, it's a hunter killer class bomber. I gotta tell you that considering I already did. Okay, gain some speed, keep my altitude. Button. Made it right up next to it. Drop. Up. There we go. That's more like it. But now, let's just show what is inside of this thing. Actually, never mind. It's it's easier ass side of the hangar. It's that big. These are there's three um J cargo bay doors turned upside down to make this thing. I'm gonna go ahead and take off. Get up, 
and there we go. It's a giant bomb. <laughs> Wade of ore tanks. Yep. Just a giant bomb made of ore tanks. Considering they're the best kinetic weapon. And hold on. Oh, I'll end this here. Part two will be out later. So please like, subscribe, helps me out. You know, as always.